if you're a Beachbody coach, there's a few skills that uh, you have to get good at to be successful with this business. One of the things for sure is connecting, finding and connecting with new people. So there's three things I want to talk to you about as far as finding and connecting. Number one, quality over quantity. I used to do this. Uh, I'm guilty of it. I used to go on social media and basically just connect with the first 20 people I came across. I wasn't trying to be like fake or anything. I'd really, you know, genuinely connect with them, but I just connected with the first 20 people that popped up and that's okay. But what I do now is I'm more concerned with just making two quality connections each day. Uh, so what I do is I go on social media, you know, I look through Facebook uh, for suggested friends. Um, I on Instagram, I use Instagram. So people will pop up as new followers, people, new people liking my stuff. Um, I search hashtags on Instagram myself and I go and I look at these people's profiles and before I even think about, is this someone that would, I'd want to do a challenge group with, or is this someone that might even make a great coach? Like, I'm just thinking, is this someone that I would want to follow? Like, is this someone that, that I have things in common with? Is this someone that posts things that make me laugh? Is this someone that posts things that make me think, right? If, if we have things in common and, and it's someone that I want, would want to follow and see what they're posting, then that to me is a quality connection. Number two is hashtag, you gotta be more interested than interesting. And what I mean by that is, if it is someone that I think would be a quality connection, someone that I really wanna follow and connect with, then I gotta go and be more, show them that I'm interested. I can't just sit back. It is important to be interesting and have, you know, post with a purpose, but it's more important to go and show other people that you're interested in what they're doing. So what I do is I go to their page and I like a few of the photos of theirs that stand out to me and I comment on one or, or I'll private message them and uh, I'll just let them know what I like about their page or you know what I like about them and I'll ask them a question to, to learn more about them. So that just shows them that you know I'm interested in connecting with them uh, and that's number two, okay? So number three, hashtag be consistent. So I'm big on hashtags, I don't know why. I think it just makes it stick better, right? I don't know. But okay, number three is be consistent. So a lot of coaches will say, okay, I love that the idea of you know, really finding and, and, and being more interested in people and making those two quality connections a day. But, you know, I'm really busy. Uh, what if I just, you know, did, you know, 14 connections on Sunday? It just, it doesn't work that way. It's an apple a day that keeps the doctor away. It's not seven apples on Sunday. So just be consistent, you know, find that time to, to make those two quality connections each day. You're going to have a lot stronger connections. So those are the three things, right? If you can just really hone in on those, those three things, you're going to have a lot stronger connections with people. And, you know, long term, that's going to lead to more people that want to join your challenge groups. It's going to make this thing a lot more fun. You're not going to feel like you're just going through numbers. You're really connecting with people aside from the business that you just have a lot of fun connecting with and following them through social media. Uh, so I hope that helps, guys. If it does, um, maybe share it or give it a like or even subscribe. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, comment below and uh, I'll get back to you. Later, guys.